Okay, so right now, we're in a labor march. Uh, as part of the National Labor Rally Day, we're going to march in soil solidarity and make our demands known publicly. Now, for some reason, this is a bit controversial to do, but it happens every year and we do this. Now, if you hear that other loud noise, that would be the far right, or down there a ways, we'll probably run into them a little bit later. Right now, we just head on the street. Now, there's many, many different things being expressed here. Right now, I'm in the part of the anti-nuclear, anti-war section of the march, but there's many different labor groups here, and many different people standing up for labor in a fight against capitalism. I need to understand this is a very clear anti-capitalist type of movement and in Japan. Lots of people involved in this. It goes back pretty far. I may or may not be able to move too much around this group because it's a large group. Now you see we're putting a, limitations are put against us, of course. The police are very, very anti-labor here in Japan, especially in Tokyo. Plus, of course, we have, you know, our good buddies down there a bit away, you know, the far-right fascists who are going to try to make a bit of trouble. They always do this. They like to do the counter-protest, as they put it. Those guys are dangerous as hell. You know, they just want to scream and shout and block out, our, block out what we're trying to say and the demands we're trying to make. No. Don't forget about them until they show up here, you know, right down there. But now it's all about us. You see all the flags and banners and things for the various groups. As I say, you know, I'm in a certain section of the march right now. I'll try to move around as much as we can to show you other things. This movie is through here, you see the different signs. Messages. I'm currently carrying a um, down with Abe poster. Yeah, just fuck Abe and his far right wing ass. That goes without saying. So through here you can see different things going on. Cross section of people, young and old. It's a united effort.
stoppage right now. surprised by this type of thing. You need to remember that this is Japan. To do things like this is a bit different. Because the idea of your rights here are very different from what many Westerners may be used to. So even if you don't do this, is a big deal. Uh, so, you know, you're a little surprised, but it's not like what you're used to seeing is taking into account that the, where we're at when we're filming and just how amazing it is that this is even allowed to go on. That very clear reason. You're hearing that guy sitting there saying it over and over again right beside me. That's a cop. So, the rules they place on this uh, type of thing you're not allowed to stop, you're not allowed to do any uh, street action. It allows to march, and they limit when we march. So, they're looking for those type of things. They put a lot of limitations on this type of stuff. That's not to say we can overtake them, it's just that it's tense. Put that way. So in the middle of this, let's take an opportunity to talk about some of the issues that labor here in Japan is facing. One of the biggest things going on right now is putting people in basically permanent temporary employment status. What we sometimes call a zero hour non-guaranteed contract. It's basically where they get to use all your labor to do the loopholes and that type of contract you basically, you can't get access to any type of national health care. You can't get access to any deeper type of, decent type of pension plan. Your legal rights are completely compromised as a worker. And you're basically paid very low slave wages where you can't really survive. 
So this myth, you know, in Japan, that most people in Japan are fully employed and like things are going swimmingly, you know, the unemployment rates are really low. It's truly, really, you know, not really true. And it's kind of a a big fat ass lie and a myth about the actual reality of it. You know, to really benefit from all those niceties they talk about in Japan, you have to be in a particular situation. Number one, you need to be Seishine, which means you're a permanent employee. Now, if you get Seishine, yeah, you're right, you get access to the national pension with a, with a company is required to pick up a tab for your health care. You get access to the top tier of the pension plan, which the government has to help pay into with you. It's much difficult to fire you and compromise you as a worker. So that type of situation is becoming, you know, less and less common in Japan. So when they say unemployment's low here, that's true, but you have to look at the type of employment that more and more workers here in Japan are facing. And they're facing that zero hour non-guaranteed contract type of stuff. And they can terminate you anytime they want, pay you any damn wage you want, they want, and basically disregard you as a human being. As you know, that is how capitalists operate. They don't view us as human beings at all. We're a liability to them. We're a cost. We're a thing. And this, you know, is accelerating under Shinzo Abe's regime. So it's a large thing that's going on in Japan. A lot of labor unions are fighting to now against it. Because it's widespread, it's affecting all workers across Japan. And on the issue of Seisho, you know, it's a really nice thing to have. But increasingly, you know, that if you unionize, companies don't suddenly don't want to cooperate with you. What they like is a situation where all the workers individualize and don't communicate. And they pick and choose the ones that are most loyal. They give Shayshan status to them. Most loyal to the company. But if you know, you're pretty open about your loyalty to your family and the people that depend on your wage and you're very loyal to co-workers and you cooperate and you work in a team as co-workers very well but you view the company as more like a means to an end as far as your survival companies tend not really like this so that's one of the issues you know that we don't hear so much about I just thought I'd bring that up yeah, so this march is going pretty well Consider the limitations placed on us. I'm very happy to be a part of this. I'm one of the few, you know, foreign unionists who don't shy away from mass action. I don't shy away from unity with other workers in Japan. I don't really like the idea of, you know, self-imposed semi-isolation. <laughs> that you see foreign workers take when they get involved in labor unions. Unity works on a mass, when you do it on a mass scale, as you're seeing today. All these workers are here. They're united together. Now, the display that we ain't gonna put up with this. We are fighting. We are, you know, saying that, you know, the way things going ain't right. Now, look at all these bystanders you see here. There's a pretty large number of people just watching from time to time on the sidelines. You know, something like this in Japan is you know, a big deal. And that's sort of the thing I'm very supportive of protests and demonstrations because it's more than just rally the troops and show what we're saying. It's, it's also about exposure to exposing people to things that they've never seen before. They don't know that's out there. They don't know that unionizing is available to them. They don't know what labor unions are saying. They don't know what any type of thing they're saying, any group or organization is saying at times. So the overall effect of doing these type of things is exposing more people to it and getting more people thinking about it. And hopefully they decide to get more involved. Okay, show you something interesting. You see that guy? Right there. That guy's secret police. There's a lot of those guys here. Okay, right wingers. All right. You see right wingers are the damn police. All right, these are the fascists, right? All right, you see this? The police are protecting those guys, right?
protecting those right-wingers, man. You see the cops we're in line with. They definitely ain't with us workers. Yeah, I told him to go fuck himself. He didn't like that very much, did he? <laughs> oh, that was hilarious, man. <laughs> Acting all bad like a bully. a little taste of them. <laughs> Look at these cops, man. There's so many of them. God damn. There's so many cops here, dude. Wow. It's been a while since I've seen this many police on action. Alright. Ah, uh, there's some more of them. Alright, more right wingers, I think. Yeah, some more action, huh? Maybe. Let me see. Uh, it's us being loud. <laughs> it's our side being loud. Alright, wait a minute. Oh, there's one. There's the right wing fascist. And screaming and shouting. Why don't we do it or not? You won't see nothing now. You mean I know? Surrounded by police protection, have you noticed? Every time one of these right wingers, man, surrounded by the cops, man, heavily protected. But us, man, look at man, I got they try to keep us in line by protecting them. That's really sweet, you know. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> Oh! 